Okay, so Fujino is on rate up and she got her buff today on an A. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like the like split rate up of three servants. Uh, if you look at it, it's actually like rarer to get the servant you want uh, than the five star. The, st the five star technically has a higher drop rate than Fujino, uh, Murasaki, or Tomoe individually. Like together, they have the 0.21%, and then there's a 9%, uh, 0.9% chance to get spooked. But yeah, like their chance of getting these, like each individual servant is not good. Uh, this banner is kind of bait. Uh, and I really don't think Fujino is strong enough on her own to like warrant like summoning on this banner. Like I like Abby. I don't. <clears throat> I wouldn't say someone on a split rate up like this. It's not. It's actually like bad for the future because this kind of says like Oberon banner might be split between four servants as well. And. Uh, is a good thing that Morgan has another rate up right after. Otherwise, you would not be getting copies of Vargas and uh, Sith. You'd be getting so many Gwains and Tristans. All right, let's talk about Fujinon. Uh, base attack, well above the midpoint, 10.29. We're looking pretty good for a four star HP. Lower to compensate. Like this is this is very low HP. This is this is not high. Uh, Berserkers have lower HP, but that's not a high bar. That's not a high bar to say you have more HP than a Berserker. Uh, star weight, star gen, archer numbers, MP charge 0.59%. That makes sense with these three hit arts cards, you're, and you are supposed to be critting on them. Five hit extra attack, it's going to be all right base stats aren't super high like archers don't expect them to gen stars like unless they are actual quick archers like this is, will gen some stars but not that much for a skill three turn 35 percent bust buff ignores defense for three turns and increases own mp generate for three turns this makes these arts cards go really, really fast, which is very nice because she's a buster unit. She doesn't naturally regen MP unless you are using her with bitch. Uh, this auto five turn is actually pretty good. Like if you can double stack this, this is good uptime. Uh, or yeah, if you can double stack it, good buffs to be stacking. It will make, it will really make her arts card go. Yeah, like she'll be spamming her MP. Especially because she is a little tanky. Uh, so this does affect when she gets hit as well. So she will get more when she gets. Uh, she will get like even more MP gen than she would before. Second skill ignores evasion for three turns and drop stars. This could easily be buffed. You'll see this skill in this day and age. This is slightly better than an instinct. Not much more. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see in a second uh, as we go through the rest of the kit. Like, if I think this is the skill that needs to be buffed, because I think it does. Third skill 2k uh, max HP reduction uh, for three turns. This can be uh, cleansed off, uh, I believe. Wait. Yeah, it's saying max HP. Um, I'm just looking up Quiet Sky. She's because she's the best example of this. Yes. Okay. So this is not her taking damage. This is her max HP being reduced. I wanted to just like double check that. So say you're at. 8,000 and your max HP is at 12,000. You are not going to lose 2,000 HP. Your max HP is now just going to be 10,000. That's the easiest way to explain this. Like a lot of other servants have this, but it's not, this isn't technically a bad thing because you're losing, unless you're at full HP. If you're at full HP, then yeah, you lost HP. 
but if you're not it doesn't really matter and then you can also cleanse this off so it's good 2000 damage cut for three turns this is fucking ridiculous this is some of the highest damage cut you will see in the game it is it is so much that she you face she can face tank like face cards she's not she's not face taking crits she's not face taking mps but like most face card damage is not gonna it's not gonna do much it's like it's good to tickle her in addition she gets a guts one time for three turns on a with one hp on a five turn very very good uptime for guts like it even if it's one hp this is like you'll have the guts up uh when you need it yeah so her skills this is definitely the weakest this is barely better than the instinct ignore evasion most bosses have like invul these days uh yeah this this definitely can get buff uh like i can see them i can see crit damage and i can see like mp damage on this they buffed their mp first i i could see either one but th this this needs more even on a five turn like this is an instinct this is an instinct with uh in uh dodge pierce and like dodge pierce isn't that good like it like you're more like servants have like dodge pierce like negation or cleanse over invul so like all right like kiara kiara removes ignore evasion she does not ignore, remove ignored uh invul unfortunate magic this d 12.5 percent debuff resist 11 percent crit damage and eight percent arts buff so yeah her arts cards go really can go really really fast has all the stuff for it actually i wouldn't be surprised if like arthur's buff was inspired by this skill because arthur arthur's three turn mana burst is like just like this but both of these are at 50. Like, you sacrifice the defense pierce, which is niche, for, like, better stats on this. Okay. Uh, pen skills. She doesn't have a battery, so mana loading isn't the most necessary thing. Uh, extra attack probably would serve you better. Make this, like, more passable. But it's not gonna, like, suddenly work miracles mp buff single target three hit it's buster so we don't really care it's star gen and the, she's an archer so she's not even gonna make stars in the first place puts buff block on them one time three turns always nice especially for boss fights like they will literally waste their turn bobbing buffs they can't use it's great it, like it's better than skill seal buff block is like definitely better than skill seal because they will waste their turn they will and or it's either they waste their turn or their bar break mechanic if it's not unremoval is just not going to do anything either way you're avoiding uh fight mechanics what they added with this buff was a scaling super effective yes this is super effective uh modifier against super large enemies uh, super large sabers. Yeah, these are all the super large enemies. You'd have to go through individually. But like, these are super large servants. It should be like apparent that like these are like big things. Uh, taller than the giant trait. All these, th the same stuff you would use uh, Arthur for, you'd bring Fujino. Which also, I think that's why, right? This is, yeah, they're both super large killers. So her having this buff is probably the reason Arthur has his. I on it, I I wouldn't be surprised if that's their inspiration. She also reduces attack down ten percent for three turns. So if you can loop this, you will get a uh, good attack down. It make it makes like this even better because they'll do less damage. So less damage even more damage will go will not go through the damage cut yeah can't english right now 
Ponzi, Buster, and Arts up 10% while she is on the field. As a general rule, I'm probably always going to say this. If it's a split rate up between three servants, don't summon on the banner. It's not, it's not worth it. You are going to, like, you're not going to get what you want. Uh, that, yeah, that's pretty much the warning. On split rate ups between three servants, you're not going to get what you want. Uh, on, like, normal split rate ups, which JP doesn't even do anymore. They, they are pretty much, like, solo. They are pretty much solo rate ups. Uh, but yeah, no, not a good time for Fujino, even though this buff does make her like good for like killing. <sighs> I'm trying right now, I'm trying to see if she actually gets another raid up. I don't think she does, or if she does, she's not. I don't think she's on this list. This is the GSSR, not a banner. Uh, yeah, I could have sworn I saw, like, Fujino was up on raid up, like, recently, like, within the last year on NA again, but I think that was actually JP, but it's not on here. Oh. Mm. Yeah, this is a really good buff, like, I don't want to undersell it, it is good. Her damage is at. Oops, sorry. Let's see, single target. Yeah, like she's not at the bottom, but you have to like, and she does like she hits sixty thousand at MP one, which is high, like thirty three percent higher than like Emia or around. But and she also pierces defense. The, uh, yeah, but again, that is again super large. Single target archers aren't in the best spot. If you have ME checks, uh, ME checks A, uh, MH double X, uh, a single target, yeah, if you pretty much have anything that deals with that single target and can deal with sabers, they're probably going to be better than what you know in more cases. Like, I, I hate to do it to the single target archers, but like lasagna needs to actually fucking buff their MPs. Like, it's fucking time. Uh, all right. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, comment, sub, all that good YouTube stuff. I'm putting this at the end of the video because I'm really bad about selling out mid video. So thank you for watching.